All right. It's been a long week at the job. I decided that now that I have the Xterra to a good spot, I can do some stealth camping. I'm going to uh, go find a place here in town and uh, get set up for some stealth time. Just me. by myself so uh, y'all come along for the adventure I have a couple of ideas places I'm gonna check out in town and see what we can't come up with um, so stay tuned I'll check in with y'all here in just a few <laughs> All right, so I don't know what's going on with this little lamp I've got. It's uh, it's not working right. Uh, I'm glad it was cheap. I'll have to see if maybe I can get a better one. This one was just to replace another one I'd had for years and years. Yeah, here we are. We're in the Xterra. Um, I'm at a spot in town where it's actually okay to uh camp overnight um it's a public park that they've got a huge parking lot on the north side in between the park and a private uh or excuse me uh public golf course just to the north so um i've never seen anybody parked here overnight no campers rvs anything uh, there's no facilities, but it's far enough away from any roads uh, that it should be fairly quiet. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a night of it here. And this is the first night I'm able to use the Reflectix window covers to help keep the light out. I do have one for the back window back there right here I haven't put in yet I'll uh I may or may not put that in I don't know there's not too much light coming from that side but maybe to keep any possible prying eyes or anything from seeing in uh here in a little while uh got my little jackery to help keep my phone and everything uh charged up and i'm just gonna lay here watch a few uh videos maybe maybe a movie or something i don't know we'll see but uh if anything exciting happens i'll let y'all in on it like uh this right here that i'm seeing out the front window Looks like an ambulance or something out there. Might be the police. I don't know. Hard to tell, but there's some pretty red blue lights. Oh, I hope they don't come over here and mess with me any. They shouldn't have any need to. So, uh, got my heater, got, got some snacks my tablet ready to go and call it a night so I'm going to uh, relax here for a little bit like I said 
watch some videos and whatnot, catch up on some emails, and uh, I'll check in with y'all later. Oh, all right. Good morning, everyone. It was a uh, very uneventful evening. No noise, no flashing lights, no knocks, no people wandering about. Uh, nobody really bothering me. So, uh, yeah, I could do this again for a quick, quick overnight. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, get the day started and let's kick this pig. Go ahead and take down my covers. I never did put the back window cover up. The, uh, the light from that direction never bothered me. There was barely any, so not a big deal. Oh, oh I love these little reflective covers. This is the first time I've ever really had to use them. And, uh, I did look out a couple of the windows that I don't have the covers for yet. There was quite a bit of light from both sides, each direction. So the fact that it didn't bother me means they worked. Uh, it stayed nice and toasty warm. I, didn't, uh, I don't think it got too, too cold last night. Let's see what temperature we've got this morning. Oh, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold for me. And I am nice and toasty warm right now. But I am about to get outside. It, well, it's definitely not toasty warm. <laughs> Uh, but the thing is, is I forgot my usual shoes. And I don't want to put on those other shoes on a day off. The energy of work clothes. Even though it's not a uniform, it is still the clothes I have to work in. Uh, and that's definitely in the shoes, so. Oh. I think the parking lot will be okay to run around and get this stuff done with, uh, with my socks on. Maybe I'll put on my thick socks to help with that, so. Here we go. Let's uh let's kick this pig. And here's the uh, parking lot. This is the golf course that this is next to. Oh. I'm gonna get my coat on. Get a little bit of the old root. 
routine going here. So, so one thing this morning, since I'm staying in town, need a little bit of a, well, not really in a hurry, but I got a lot to do today, so I'm going to get home pretty quick. I'm not going to make any coffee. this morning I'll just run by and grab some So gonna guess that there's nobody out there playing golf this morning in 23 degree 24 degrees that is the best thing about all natural taste and things you live with I don't feel bad about spitting it out in public. It's just, it's not like a bunch of the chemicals and stuff that are in conventional toothpaste and whatnot. So let's see, I have some blueberries and banana for breakfast. So let's go uh, make sure I have everything. All right, let's go up front, make sure I have everything that I need up there. So, yeah, let's get you a look at my accommodations this was a pretty cool little spot there's a bunch of baseball fields back over that way somebody's checking them out this morning that's what all this is all sports complex here in the park this is a uh, Back here is the stadium for the local uh, college team, uh, Midland Community College or whatever it's called. That's where their baseball team plays. So yeah, we've got soccer fields and all kinds of sportsing stuff going on out here. And there's some guy back over here staring at me. <laughs> Probably doesn't know what to make of me walking around like this. So, uh, I will try to ease his mind, make him a little less, well, He's right by the exit where I need to leave, so it'll probably make him quite uncomfortable on my way out. We'll see what happens, but I'll check back in with y'all in a bit. All right, so. So that guy, the guy that was sitting over there in his truck staring at me, as soon as I got in, uh, the Xterra. He jumped in his truck, drove real fast, kind of close to me over here to get, a, I guess, to get a closer look or whatever, and uh, sped off out the other entrance and exit. And uh, He 
he's circling back around on the other roads in the park. And I have a feeling he's just sitting there watching me until I, I don't know, until I leave or something. But. That's kind of funny. Because what I'm doing is perfectly legal. He's never seen it before. And I wonder what he was doing here at these sportsing fields, children's sportsing fields, this early in the day. Unless he's the guy that's in charge of unlocking the field gates. possibility and he got freaked out by me being here else in a minivan staring at me like I'm going to follow him. <laughs> I mean, this park is right next to a youth detention center. There's very little activity at this juvenile detention center, but I've never seen anybody outside, never more than three or four cars there. So very little activity. And I think today I'm gonna just drive through Black Rifle and by my buddy Joel he does uh, he's a DJ and uh, he does uh, really cool light shows uh, puts up light patterns and whatnot to the music up on the side of buildings in town <coughs> and he's a pretty amazing guy should I do usual or should I treat myself this morning? That's the question that I have. Oh, I forgot something in the back. So I'm here in the drive through gonna freak some people out. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself <laughs> hmm. <coughs> good morning I would like a double shot of espresso by itself All right. and I would also like a medium size uh, 
Mocha. No, please. And I would like that made brevet. Sure thing. Is there anything else I can get for you? I do believe that'll be it. All right, so the pizza is ready to go. Thank you very much. I left my cash in the back. That's why I had to jump up. And, okay, that's going to go. That little bit is for my vacation fund. So out here in West Texas, we have a lack of decent coffee shops. There's a few local places that are really, really good. They're on the uh, south side of town mostly. The ones that were up here on this side of town, uh, <clears throat> got bought out and said they're moving, but I don't know where they're moving to. They say temporarily closed, but haven't been reopened. Uh, a lot of the little coffee shops the small independents can't survive here <clears throat> because everybody is so sold on the big giant chain, the Bucks. I was very glad when Black Rifle came into town. They're a pretty large chain now, but being veteran owned I'd rather come here uh, a lot of the kids that work here used to work at Starbucks and uh, they're actually very very good baristas they don't have the same push-button machines they actually pull their shots and they're good kids very friendly So I'm not sure if we'll get, <clears throat> we'll be able to use this interaction, but good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? All right. You the 16 ounce mocha breve and the shot of espresso? Yes. All right. Are you a military veteran first responder? Nope. Order comes out to 1039. Y'all doing all right on this cold morning? Staying warm. Keep it staying busy too. <laughs> all right. How about yourself? Oh, doing fine. Just uh, just got done camping for the night on my oh, way really? home. Where are you camping at? I actually stayed at Hogan Park. There's an area there where you're allowed to stay overnight really? if you got a camper or whatnot. So That's I figured cool. I'd try it out, see how it went. You stay warm throughout the night? Oh, yeah. Is that okay? All right. And that shot. Beautiful. Thanks a lot, bro. Have a good one. People behind me such a hurry they had to move up before I moved on. Alright, so that was fantastic. So now we're just gonna head on home and get my day started. So yeah, I know this was this was a short little not much going on video, but wanted to test out the overnight in town abilities of the X camper in its uh, form that it's in now.
so-and-so always has to go first. Oh, so good and sweet. I love a good pull of espresso. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead end this video here. Invite everybody to like and subscribe. Helps me out. Uh, helps the channel out. Helps the community out. Which we need to. It's a small community right now, but we're going to do some slow grow. As I have more time to get out more content. And, uh. Spread my wings a little bit, as they say. So everybody leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Help us take care of this world that we're in.